the recent policy update of employment-based visa petitioners states that these employers have to show proof of ability to pay these employees prior to the employment of these new employees. What does it mean? In the, in the policy before, what it states that when they apply for EB2, employment-based visa, EB3, employment-based visa, by the way, there is a difference between those two. EB2, they are skilled, educated, uh, professional workers. EB3, not skilled, but experienced workers. So when employment-based visa is sold by one of the companies, what they have to show is financial statement, tax statement, bank statement, and to prove that they have the ability to pay. But now the new policy update that came into effect March 15 and forward, it says that these employers have to show a record of employment uh, payroll payments prior to the hire, to the hire, to the employment of these new hirees uh, coming from outside the United States. They have to prove that they've been paying employees. They have to prove that they have the capacity to add more employees, especially those who hired 100 and more employees in their companies. So these are big companies, you know? So what they say, they have to show a proof of employment, you know, payroll, uh records to prove that you know they can pay also i have usa has also stated that they might request additional documents it could be more more financial documents more records from financial cfo chief financial officer and other um, associated documents but for now the requested documents on top of the previous ones are first tax statement bank statement bank record and a deposit and profit and loss records. And now they have to show payroll documents too. They have to make sure that they can be able to pay these employees, the new employees. So two things changed. As I mentioned, show a, a proof of this uh, payroll documents. Second, structure. What is your structure, your business structure? Is it sole proprietor? Are you the only sole owner? And do you, you know, run the business with with the sole proprietor structure, or are you LLC? The company is LLC, limited liability company. Is it partnership? Is it incorporated? All that they want to know to make a decision. So this is the, the, the difference. By the way, they moved this business structure from chapter five and they put it in appendix and the appendix section in more detailed and you know elaborated way. So USCIS is able to make a decision. For those, what is the meaning of this policy update, which came into effect March 15, 2023? What is the purpose for us coming from outside the country into the United States with any kind of employment-based visa? We should be assured that this company will pay us because they have shown, they have shown enough documents that they will be able to pay us. And for the company, it's good because they can pay our uh, new employees and they can hire more. The more documents, the more financial statements they show, the more they can hire. This is what the USCIS new policy says. I hope it helps. Thank you.